Um, I was actually on the Great Victorian bike ride at the time with a couple of mates from school because I wasn't too sure if I would get drafted or not. So I did something to take my mind off it, but yeah, lucky enough to get drafted to Hawthorne. Um, I grew up in Knox, which is just around the corner from Waverley, so I was still able to complete my first year to Aquinas College in Ringwood and very fortunate to end up at Hawthorne. I mean, I've been very lucky with the success we've been able to achieve over the last five or six years. Hawks had just won the, the flag at that time, so I remember watching, you know, Luke Hodge and Buddy Franklin on TV, and then a couple of months later was drafted and at the club meeting those guys and playing next to them. So it's probably a little bit intimidating at first, but uh, obviously very excited to uh, to be drafted. It was, it was always a goal of mine, a bit of a dream. Um, it was a very special moment to get drafted and then move across. Clark actually said in my first couple of years, he goes, I'm not going to play any of you boys if you're not doing something outside footy. So uh, that was a pretty big call, and but he's onto something there. Like if you have a, a balance outside footy just to take your mind off it for a day or two, definitely helps with your performance on match day. That's basically the thing that's been drilled into us, not just at our club, but I'm sure all AFL footballers know that, you know, it's not going to last forever, so you need something to go into afterwards and making that transition as smooth as possible, you definitely need some kind of study behind you or experience if, in something. Been running as a business probably for 12 months now. Studied previously for two years before that. It's a business that Ryan Shellmakers and myself have started up. Um, it is challenging at times because we've only got one day a week off footy, but it gives us that, that outlet, I guess, from, from AFL. But yeah, something we're looking to build over the next couple of years while we're still playing, and then um, it gives us something to walk straight into once our footy career is, is over. We did our training, did our Cert for and Diploma through the training here, worked closely with a mentor, Glenn Darcy, so to sort of, you know, finalise loans and applications and talk about marketing and business structure and stuff like that. So we're constantly learning, but uh, it's been an exciting process so far. My local broker provided us with a lot of support, um, so they've been a great resource for us and getting our business up and running, which is play on finance. So Liam and myself have been sort of working on that, just chipping away slowly, just building something again for after footy. So if we can get this rolling in the next couple of years while we're still playing footy, it's definitely going to give us a bit of a head start afterwards. I guess as a young bloke coming in, something that I didn't find too easy was switching off after a poor performance or um, taking my mind off footy, so I think having something outside AFL has definitely helped. Um, I've done something ever since I started, whether it be um, a short course in business or this uh, mortgage broking course, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely helped me and I think it's I play my best footy when I'm busy outside footy. My name is Liam Shields and I'm Ryan Shoalmakers and vocational education and training helped us set up Play on Finance.